Well, hello, Canada, my favorite country on earth. I don't have hope for my country anymore. I'm done with hope, because I wanted Hillary to win the election. Thank you, three other middle-aged white ladies. Uh, but I voted for Obama, but I didn't get it. I don't get the hope train. I gave up hope for America when we took the pillows out of coach on American Airlines. If we could no longer afford a five cent phone piece of shit so my neck doesn't break on a six hour flight, we suck. It's officially over. Go get your Rosetta Stone and learn a little Chinese before they get here. <laughs> because they are coming, and there's a billion of them. And I saw the opening ceremonies for the Beijing Olympics. They have their shit together on a level that is frightening. We are going to wake up in our homes, and there's going to be Chinese families in our houses looking at us on the couch going, you go home now. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I, I think I am home. No, no, not anymore. Not your house, no. We bought it while you watch opening ceremonies for Olympics. No, I want to have hope in Obama. I don't see it. The oil spill, really? If I was Obama, I would have fired people. The first guy, this was the first answer, and I am not making this up. They said, we know how to stop it. We'll shove golf balls down it. Okay, you're fired. And you know why you're fired? Because that sounds like something me and my brother came up with at a bar after 800 beers. <laughs> And we would have thought we were brilliant, but we're morons. <laughs> I got it, dude. Golf balls. We're shoving a shitload of them down there. And then if it doesn't work, how awesome will it be to watch 8 million golf balls fly out of the ocean? <laughs> how fun it'll be. I am an idiot if I could see simple answers, like we have a terrorism issue and we have a healthcare crisis. The last terrorist guy put bottle rockets in his underwear and he was going to blow up Detroit. And then they said, that's it. Now you all have to go through the human x-ray machine. And people got pissed off. Oh, that's an invasion of my privacy. Back, 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 back. And I thought, I don't care. Whatever makes it faster. You know what? Let's make the whole thing better. How about to solve health care and terrorism? Every week when you fly, you get to go through a free CAT scan. I would love a free CAT scan once a week. I don't even care if it's a doctor reading it. It could just be the guy from TSA going, baby, I ain't a doctor, but there's some weird ass shit in your kidney. They're like, oh, good. That's the chart, and that's a normal one. And yours don't look like that. Did you eat a golf ball or something weird? You got something. That's why I'm out of hope. You know, the economy completely fell apart. I knew the economy was falling apart six years ago when I got a home loan. <laughs> really? They said, yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> the lady at the bank was Filipino. She goes, okay, you want the house? We'll do the paperwork for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I, I said, well, I was a stand-up comedian. She goes, oh, oh. You put on makeup, do fun for children? Okay, put birthday clown. I don't give a shit. That's a good job. Put that. I like that. Put birthday clown. I got the loan. $427,000 to a birthday clown. If that didn't tell somebody, something had gone seriously awry. And the banks don't even care. We gave them all the money we had, and they still don't care. I bank at Chase Bank. I went up there three months ago on a Tuesday. The bank, there's people working in the bank, but it's padlocked. There's a security guard. He's 150 years old, and he's missing an eye. <laughs> and I say to him, I don't get it. Why are there people working in the bank, but it's closed? He goes, baby, it's just all messed up. I go, I don't know exactly what that means. He goes, well, I ain't supposed to say nothing. But on the down low, what I heard is that that little evil man in North Korea, he hacked into the system, and he took a lot of money. <laughs> really? This is who Chase has elected to speak to the customers. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there a manager here in a suit with two eyes that could come out here and tell me if Kim Jong-il has taken my last $1,400? Anybody? <laughs>